you're all welcome to Horse Head Bookends. It is Regular Store Day 2023. It is later than I would normally post this video, but I had a ton of stuff to do today. I was at Geek Flea, sponsored by Unwinnable most of the day. I'll post a link to that down below. Uh, but I finally got home with my haul. We're going to go through it now. Now, I know in my previous video, uh, I'll link it uh, up in that corner, I believe. Should be that corner or that corner, one of the corners. I said that I wasn't buying any more records before record store day. Well, the lie detector determined that was a lie. So here are some of the quick records I got right before record day up to it, including I think this week, which is kind of crazy. But we're gonna run through those really fast and then we're gonna get into the record store day haul. First up, De La Soul is dead. The second album from De La Soul, they are amazing. I didn't even realize this was coming out. I know they were putting out a special edition blue vinyl one. I didn't realize that they were putting it on black vinyl. I got the black vinyl. I've already spun it multiple times. Love this album, it's fantastic. Next up is a compilation, DND Spell Jams. This is a uh, background sort of ambient music to go along with the new DND Spell Jammer, which is basically DND in space. Uh, one of the main reasons I bought it because they there's an OC song on it, Arena of Blood. I am a huge OCs fan, and I'm also a huge D&D fan, and I did get the, uh, the Spelljammer books. I haven't really read through them yet, but I will, and when I do, I'll be spinning this alongside it. Right, next is a album I got from my buddy because he was able to pick up a mono press, and that is uh, Dave Brubeck, Time Out. Uh, this is a fantastic album. Never had it in my collection, and it was always one that I'm like, oh, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. Well, uh, my buddy Mike was getting rid of this copy, so thank you, Mike, and now I have it in my collection. Next up is a favorite of mine that I had on CD for a very uh, long time, and that is Hank 3, Damn Right Rebel Proud. Fantastic album from Hank, uh, Hank Williams the Third. Um, love his stuff, this is a great album, uh, Blue Vinyl. Didn't realize this was out, but uh, when I saw it, I had to grab it. And then finally, the last one prior to Record Store Day was Zappa 80 Mud Club live show um, from Zappa in the 80s. I did not have this one. Uh, I think I might have had a bootleg a long time ago, but I am super happy that they put it out, and I can't really wait to uh, spin this one. All right, enough of the non-Record Store Day releases. Here's what I got for Record Store Day. As you can see, not a whole lot, but I want to thank you for Sky Valley Records in New Jersey. Uh, they're awesome there, and they were able to, uh, I was able to get everything. The only two albums I wasn't able to get that were on my want list was the MMW release, which I will have to try to get online later, and the Goblin release. Hopefully I can get them both tomorrow uh, when stores put up their stock online. All right, let's get started. First up, ODB's Return to the 36 Chambers on Picture Disc. There's one side. There's another one. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, Wu-Tang solo albums. Uh, it's not Liquid Swords, which is my favorite, but this is a uh, probably number two or number three. Love this album. Tons of great songs on it. Uh, I have a few of the 45 singles, but I didn't have the full album. Now I have it. Can't wait to uh, get this uh, on the turntable. Next up is Jazz Dispensary Hotel Hol Hotel Jolly Dame. Um, I've been talking about this for every record store day. Don't sleep on the Jazz Dispensary releases. They are always terrific. Um, and I can't wait to uh, play this one as well. All right, next is uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Jazz Workshop 1970. Love Art Blakey. I, I think uh, J him and the Jazz Messengers, I, I have a bunch of their stuff. This is a fantastic release. So I am super happy to add this to my collection. And then finally, Grateful Dead 5777 at the Boston Garden. Um, I am not a big fan of the Grateful Dead. However, I love 77 Dead. It's really one of the only years I actually want to listen to. Um, I do have the other shows that they have been released, uh, 5, 8, 5, 9, and also Dave's Picks Volume 1, which was 525.77 uh, in Virginia. So this actually is getting uh, opened and spun probably right as soon as I shut off this camera. So that's it. Those are my grabs for Record Store Day. Uh, I did not get two of the releases that I was looking for, which is the MMW and the uh, Goblin. 
but uh, I'm really happy what I got. It's very jazz heavy for me this time, aside from the ODB. Um, but there was there's a lot of stuff, huge lines, uh, mostly because people were there for Taylor Swift, which I uh, hope everyone was able to get that. I also hope everyone was able to get all the records they were uh, looking for. If there's something I might have looked past or I should give a listen and maybe try to pick up uh, tomorrow, please let me know down below and I will try to uh, give it a listen. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click subscribe, ring the notification bell. You get notified anytime I upload a new video. Any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and I'll go back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.